welcome to the next video. In this one, looking at Robert Clive. Now, this Robert Clive is uh, known as Clive of India, and is basically the biggest character that's associated with the Indian colonization. So, apparently, this Clive uh, went now and basically took over India on behalf of the, the British, right? Are ye the British people, you know, like yeah, he has to play a moss for the for the colonization of, of India, really. which is obviously coming back to where uh, you know kick the uh, the British people in the in the arse now, you know, at this point, really. And what I think about this is it's complete hoax. Really. I think this is a created hex, right? First thing in US, he died November 22, so that's 11 22 33 for the Masonic. This, this aspect here is very interesting as well. Um, if you've seen the video I've done where uh, I was showing the, the Prince of Wales thing from about 1900, 1920 or something like that, it was 1930s, right? And it was yeah, the, the actual footage was the Prince of Wales character was in India in right? the 1930s or 1920s. He'd done a tour of India, right? And obviously, this year. Uh, this Indian colonization was supposed to take place earlier than that. Really. But you hear, say, the Clive of India movie made 1935. Really. So we're basically bringing about a lot of brainwashing about this Indian colonization stuff, right? At the 1930s point. Really. Before that, you know, there isn't any real evidence. It's uh, something that's been written in his, his historical accounts. Really. Before that, there's absolutely no evidence of it, really. Now, uh, what, what you see here, really. And there's the movie. So they were, they were putting it in, really. Right? Here you also see A Clive of India by Kenneth Griffith, 1983, read. Really. Again, this Shakespearean type of uh, Jewish actor, read. Really. So he's in Zulu, and on, he was in Zulu. This the actor. He's supposed to be Welsh. Again, we're refreshing the people's minds of this this thing where they're trying to brainwash people with re 1983. Re now, obviously, you know, in 1984, the uh, the ideas of what the party says, you know, the past, uh, the past and the present, and all that, the quotations. So, now the you know the official slogans of the party read White Pyramid. Ministry of Truth, Winston. And now the uh, that he who controls the past controls the uh, present. And who who control you know, who controls the past controls the future. So putting this idea in about the past, it's all about slavery. Colonization is all about slavery and uh, stuff like this. Right? So as you see by this, war is peace, freedom is slavery. So apparently the the British, right, the British people, went. Basically declared war on India, peace, and then slaverized them all, freedom. Right? So there's some totally fake about this. Right? Uh, in fact, I would consider it to be totally fake and coming from around the 1900s, where it was actually invented. Right? Same as the, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the Muslim religion was only created around the 1900 uh, time period right? as a means for further. In our uh, advancement of uh, control within Europe and the, and the Western world, you know, obviously this so this is really a directly to the, the colonization type idea because if you come, they're putting it in the past, really. and who controls the past controls the future. So it's it's for the future of the uh, European mass immigration and multiculturalization. Really. Here's your one, bit yeah. Uh, History has stopped. Nothing ex exists except endless present in which the party is always right. So again, you know, you're talking about um, you know how how uh, frequently can it completely rewrite history? You know, about every 50 to 70 years, I would say. You know, say about 70 years, and you completely rewrite. You know, just the, the space of one generation of their uh, people. You know, the uh, the bridge between two generations of people really. So if you know you can uh, and of course to develop new techniques now to separate uh, like generational people from each other, you know. 
which is all part of the whole Danet and what they're sort of yeah, researching into. It's technical to history, it's not to be trusted at all. Right? Not at all. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, everything faded in the mist. The past was erased, the eraser was forgotten, and the lie became true. Right? Now bear in mind also, right? This year, uh, Eric Blair, George Orwell, was born in India. Born in India. Real name Eric Blair, of course, that explains. Yeah, Tony Blair, right? Work with BBC, right? and yeah. Uh, BBC, one of the most creative names going, right? Obviously, on a profane level, it's the British Broadcasting Corporation. But if you take it uh, it's associated with the uh, Clive of India, right? It's become the Bengali Broadcasting Corporation. I think it's uh, been serving India all the time, right? And as, as I think the, the establishment of Britain, right? Serves India. Because as we're not a Jewish, right? The, the average British people, right, get the blame for the British Empire. How the hell's the average British people got out of the day with the British Empire, you know? That the majority of British people are just normal, uh, sort of um, level of uh, wealth or whatever, or less, you know, poor, or just have a normal level, right? So, and of course, what the talking about is all this stuff about all this massive wealth that was uh, taken by the British, way, right? you know? The actual British people is not that they were the upper class establishment, not a not a thing that they were, you know. And they just happened to be Jewish, right? So you will see the British governor of Bengal, the Bengali idea, you know. Could be something even like greater than India or Pakistan, if you understand what I mean by that. With the Bengali. Now as you see the yeah, the rob, the rob as in the steel, right? and the clive, right? is the sea evil. You know, just like live here, right? See, evil. Right? So basically what I'm saying with this Robert Clive type of idea, right? Again, you know, you're talking about me, real photographs or now, right? So it's a, it's a picture, right? In the study, the saying, see evil when you look at this, right? So they're telling you to see evil when you look at it, right? It's a robber and a thief. A tea robber, you know. Of course, your three wise monkeys here, you know. You see, you see evil, right? You see evil is like you see no evil. Hear no evil and speak no evil, which is the three wise monkeys. Now, these three wise monkeys basically correspond to the three wise men of the Bible, right? The Christian uh, text. Again, the monkey business, you know, the monkey business. The wise becomes like the, the Jews, the Jews. Right? So, this is here, you know. As always, the eastern, the eastern uh, type of um, stuff is behind it, you know. A bit of monkey business in there, you know. Just having to have the, uh, the fellowship of the uh, Royal Society. Yeah, zero evidence the character actually actually existed. Yeah, it's yeah, on a on a on a painting portrait, right? Thirty three, twenty two, eleven thirty three. Yeah, we have two nine nine, two nine September nine. So that become two six six six. 666. Obviously, double sevens here. Yeah. More of a masculine, you know, MM33 again. Read. Masculine, you know, mask, mask idea, of course, you know. Um, they course, the day with the British East India Company. EIC, East India Company. EIC, and that could be something to do with the EEC. Uh, not the European Union, because obviously the European Union was the uh, ended up ended up uh, 
you know, EEC, European Union, you ended up joined up the bloody Pakistan and India. It's supposed to be an in, 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 European Union. Maybe, you know, this character, this whole thing, you know, has to do with Indian and slash Jewish Tiergoa, right, of the whole world, which obviously they use economics as a warfare nowadays, and population control, eh, not control, eh, um, what was it, that, yeah, like Dave Johnson said, about population, yeah, you know, putting people, expansion of people, you know, but you, how we tear going, you know, you, you, you put the people in, right? And economics becomes like the, the economics becomes the, uh, the bullet, right? And then the actual putting the people in becomes the missile, you know? It's like, it's warfare, you know? As you say, the Tran, Tranjo expedition, the Carnatic. This is a lot of, you know, trans ideas, right? VGS drugs, VGS drugs. This to me, yeah. Uh, Marathon, you know, you heard of the Battle of Marathon and the, uh, the supposed Greek idea. And the Greek idea, which is ties in with Alexander the Great, who was supposed to be Macedonian conqueror of India. But I think that was reversed. I think that uh, they were trying to put the Indians coming into Europe and taking that over. So as I say, you can't trust anything what to tell you at all. You know. And uh, I'll do it at all, you know. The climb of India. It just seemed to me to be a fake background put in. Suet the egg and um check out, you know. He has a great Bengal famine of 1770. Now we're not a Gauli, yeah, the Gauli priests. And the Ben, the Sun, the Sun, and the double seven good, right? Ten million people there so supposedly died, you know what I mean? Yeah. About 30 million. Affected some 30 million people. Killed 10 million, well, you know. I'm not so sure, like, you know. Oh, the, uh, you know, Robert, Robert Clive, Baron Clive, right? So you even call him Robert Baron. He, you know, uh, unethical. And again, this is sort of demonizing the, the white person type of thing, you know, a robber baron, right? it's always associated with an east, uh, not an eastern, a western person, right? you know, again, this has got to be like a way to uh, demonize the western person, you know, the, uh, with this sort of thing about exploiting the eastern lands, right? again, to me, it would be, why would they do that, if not to turn it around, you know, like the new speak in the the, uh, the the Big Brother idea, you know, the 1984. If you even call Robert, Robert Barron, you know. The other ones, what you've got really, is, seem to be these. Robert Windsor Clive MP. From the 1800s, which is a lot more of a, you know, more of a realistic type of thing where they can't really make up loads of lies, you know. A hell of a difference between what was supposedly happening in the 1700s and the 1800s, really. And I think it's based on this. I think it's based on some, you know, basically a little relative of these royal ones, right? The based idea, this character on this on this person, how it's what I reckon. Written it in. Right? Comes back as a colonization, if you say the Nazi idea in that, right? To, to sort of hurt the British people, right? But the cruel ones full of shit. Like the cruel on is full of shit, right? So 
again, you know, it's bye.